Bullous pemphigoid is another autoantibodies against the epidermal cells. It is less severe than pemphigus vulgaris, but more commonly seen. And again, it is also a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction. It's the result of autoantibodies against the hemidesmosomes, which connect the epidermal cells to the basement membrane. So the cells will be connected together just fine, but they're not connected to the basement membrane. Of course, this results in fluid accumulated between the basement membrane and the cells. And grossly, this translates to tense blisters. So you can feel the blisters and they're very tense and hard. And if you leave them alone, they will heal over time, leaving no scars. Unlike Pemphigus vulgaris, where the blisters always leave, leave marks and scars. And also unlike Pemphigus vulgaris, it spares the mucosal membranes. Nicholas K. sign will also be negative. Under immunofluorescent light, if we take a sample, we will see a linear pattern. And this will be present between the epidermal and dermal junction, indicating autoantibodies activities in this area. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.